Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video from the iSocial Web channel. In this case, we bring you a script a bit compromised, right? Because in the end, what we are going to do is to generate deep fakes. That is, generate images or changes within a video with an image changing the face of a person for another. So, depending on the use you can make of it, it is obviously dangerous because it could be used for bad purposes to impersonate someone else or something like that. But we understand that it is a didactic material, that it is interesting to see, interesting to understand, interesting to know how it works, and, well, just leave in your hands the responsible use of this kind of content. And an important disclaimer to make before anything else is that if you generate this content from Google Colab, I recommend that you do not do it with your personal account, but you do it with an account that you generate for this or that you do not care that you can delete it, okay? Because this kind of script and all the deep fakes issue, Google doesn't like it and could ban your account. And if you upload it, don't upload it to YouTube, upload it to Vimeo or another platform because you can also have deletion problems, okay? So having said that and clarified all this, I'm going to explain a little bit about how it works. The process is super simple. All you have to do, as always, is run the three blocks that you have here, okay? In the first block, we're going to make a call to Colab so that we can store everything in Drive, okay? And the second block, we're going to clone the repository of the person who shared this tool, and then we're going to make a call to the process, okay? Just to say that this script was not made by me, it was made by the people at C Curses. You have a lot of stable diffusion uh, videos and topics here. They have quite a bit of content and such. So, well, if you want to review the, the channel a little bit, it's pretty good. And once you run the first and second module, the only thing you'll need to do here is to have a picture of the face that you're going to change it to and have the video that you want to modify, okay? Here, simply an image that you can see the face quite well that doesn't have glasses and doesn't have weird things, okay? And then inside the video, if you can see the face at all times, all the better. Keep in mind that if there are several people in the video, it will show the face of all the people that appear, okay? Then try to segment it. I, I'm going to show you an example of uh, a video we made the other day. Uh, this would be a video of me, in this case, recording the Turing Test podcast. And this would be uh, the video of Arnau recording the Turing Test podcast. In my case, we have made the change with Obama. And in Arnau's case, we have made the change with Mark Zuckerberg. The truth is that Arnau nails it, right? You can see that he looks pretty good. Uh, there are times when it flickers or does something weird. But in general, it's pretty good. I see this video of uh, Zuckerberg and I think it's him, right? So he's doing pretty good. And as I tell you here, you just have to upload here to the section. It will be all explained in the post uh, to the image with the image name. Here you can modify the image name you want and the video name. And this will take, depending on how long the video is, I have calculated more or less eight minutes, about half an hour to process it. And with that, you will be able to generate those deep fake videos directly. So, well, I hope you find it useful and see you on the channel.